Hi guys and welcome back to Kelsey B. Um, so today we're going to be going through my empties. I have been saving these up for a really long time. Um, I'm getting ready to hit the road on a one month adventure. I'm going to try to film as much as possible with like packing and all those types of videos. Um, but we have two days to pack up and finish getting the trailer ready for this one month adventure. But I want to actually throw this away before I go so <laughs> I thought I should film the video um and a little bit of preface I am an ex makeup collector I am also a licensed esthetician um, that is not my full-time job I do that part-time on the side but with that comes a lot of like buying products and blah 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 I have gotten really into more minimalist approach to skincare and makeup and I really look for sustainable high quality products with high ingredient high ingredients high quality ingredients that are really beneficial um, and I'm no longer just buying product I'm no longer just buying makeup I'm only buying makeup if it is going to help my skin or if I'm replacing something that I have already used up so on and so forth so some of this stuff is old stuff that is like not cruelty free i'm trying to go through everything and not just waste things and throw it away um and that goes for body care hair care i'm trying to minimize that whole side of my life i'm trying to minimize my whole life girl i'm trying to be a farmhouse minimalist over here we're working on it it's a goal but we're going to go through the empties real quick and i'm going to give you some tips on how to make things last a little bit longer, so stay tuned. <laughs> so right off the top, this is my favorite body wash. I know, I know, I know. Bar soap is way more environmentally friendly. Girl, I hear you. I am there. I have a whole jar of bar soap that I've been collecting from hotels forever and they are getting ready. But this is my favorite splurge soap. Um, it is the Coconut Butter Scrub Soft Soap. You can get it at Walmart for like $2, but it smells like a beach. It smells so good. Um, here is a tip that I use how I get my bottles so clean and dandy when it gets to about here I fill it with water and I keep doing the same so the last kind of like three weeks are very watered down soap um, and then when it's just has like you know soapies on the hanging clean to the bottle when I take a bath I submerge this in the water and I use that extra soap for bubble bath and it works really well and then your tube comes out completely empty and you can throw it away guilt-free all right next I have the crest pro health whitening toothpaste not my favorite I really like to get fluoride free I like that healthy toothpaste Tom's toothpaste um, Thrive, I think, has a toothpaste. There's another brand of toothpaste that we use here. Uh, but sometimes, I think when we travel, if I forget toothpaste, I just go buy like the cheapest bottle I can buy. And we finished it off finally at home. This is Hyaluronic Vitamin E Instant Moisturizing Cream. This is from my local grocery outlet, which is a great store. We have the best store in my area, which I'm super excited about. It's basically like a bargain market. But we are kind of known where I live for um, hippies and we, there's a lot of, uh, what is that called? Communes and things like that. But we have a great health organic aisle at our store. And um, my husband wanted some lotion that he could actually use on his face. And I read the ingredients of this and I read all of that and it has some really good stuff in it. And, he, and it's safe to use head to toe moisturizer and so he used this on his face as well as his whole entire body the only downside again is the packaging there's stuff in there I can't get it out um, which is kind of a bummer but it's pretty empty and it's not tested on animals so and it's called um, bloom brand so if you guys are you know looking for a new I'm sure there is some of it um, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. 
if you guys watched my most recent Ulta haul, um, that was like my last hoorah of shopping. I this is just a product that I can live without. It smells amazing. That's really the only benefit that I saw was the smell. Speaking of, here is the Witch Hazel. I love Witch Hazel. Um, it is amazing. These are super affordable. You can get it like a two pack on Amazon, I think for like $5.99. Um, what I do is I put mine in a spray bottle and it lasts so much longer, like a mini spray bottle. I'll put this in and I kind of um, switch back and forth between just pure Witch Hazel and Mario Badescu, the big bottles of toner. I switch back and forth and now I'm out of Witch Hazel. Witch Hazel has a lot of beneficial products properties for your skin. Okay, then we have a Mario Badescu the Ginseng Moisturizing Cream. This stuff was really good. I also have a Mario Badescu haul. Basically, I know it's not the best skincare in the world, um, but it is, they don't test on animals, it's pretty natural, and it's very affordable. And, um, when you're in a pinch and you need something, I totally recommend. He has some really great products. Um, and yeah, here's the ginseng moisturizing cream. I would definitely repurchase. Another product from my local grocery outlet store is this Lestier tea tree and hemp oil shampoo, um, clarifying shampoo. It was very affordable. I liked the pump and the bottle. I do the same thing with these pumper bottles. I add a little bit of water once we get to around here and just slowly kind of water it down until I basically get nothing left. Um, it is cruelty free and there's just a bunch of good stuff in here. It smelled amazing. It lasted a really long time. I just got it on my nose. <laughs> this is my favorite, beyond favorite, favorite dry shampoo. I am actually trying to give up dry shampoo. I know. Um, it's really not that healthy for your hair or your scalp. It kind of tends to do some buildup. And it's just something that I think I could live without. Um, but that's a process, right? So this is the Manio Coconut Dry Shampoo. I picked this up at Walmart. It smells amazing. It doesn't leave that like super gritty feeling in your hair. Um, I felt like this had like the least buildup of all of the dry shampoos that I've tried, but I absolutely love this one and I would repurchase this one if I was gonna continue dry shampoo. I know, I can't believe I'm saying it. I might go back, I don't know, um, for this camping trip, I'm gonna try to really minimize my dry shampoo. We'll see, we shall see how it goes. Okay, uh, Pure Adore is a great brand that you can purchase on Amazon. I will leave the link for them down below. I love to use whole oils on my face as a moisturizer, especially for night cream, and rosehip seed oil is really good for my face. I have oily combination skin, um, and pure rose hip seed oil. They make a lot of different oils. I think they make like Jehovah oil. They make a lot of good pure oils and it is cruelty free. Then I have a probiotics. This is from, these are the probiotics from Grove. Um, I once, I have a lot of gut issues. Probiotics have like completely changed my life, daily probiotics. But I heard one doctor say basically just buy a bunch of different brands and you take one and then buy a different kind of brand and you will pretty much get the full scope because there's a bunch of different things. I don't even know what they're called, but um, this one worked. It worked. Cool. My Revolution Mascara. It worked. It wasn't amazing, but it was, it, it worked. It was good. Stardust Urban Decay. It is a glitter gloss. I love me some glitter gloss. The consistency was super sticky though. My hair would get stuck in it. Um, I just didn't like the consistency. I like that glossy gloss. That glossy gloss, you know, like it just kind of, just not sticky. This is sticky. It gets everywhere. It's just too sticky. Then I have my NARS Coca Copa Cabana. And this is what I do with all of my, will it focus? There we go. Um, this is what I do with all my squeezy tubes. <laughs> with all my squeezy tubes, um, I will cut the tops off and um, get in there and kind of get in there. Now this was another product that was a gift, so I just used it up. I didn't purchase it myself, but I really liked it. It was good. 
I like to mix illuminator in with my moisturizer. This is a L'Octane shampoo. I got a L'Octane advent calendar for Christmas this year and I've been slowly but surely kind of going through the product um, and that was that and I finished this one. <laughs> Next, I have something I will totally repurchase, and that is the Laura Mercier finishing powder. I have one more finishing powder that I need to finish before I can purchase one of these, but this is amazing, high-quality, high-grade powder. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure Laura Mercier is cruelty-free. If you guys know, let me know, let me know down below. I'm pretty sure, though. Um, I hope so, for my, for my sake. Another tip is I take out the sifter at the end so um, that I can get in there and get the old, all the product. All the possible product. Then I have my Lancome UV Expert. My mom is a huge fan of Lancome and she gets those free gifts and then she will give them to me. And again, I cut the top off and it completely makes it usable for so much longer. I have two chapsticks. I am a chapstick addict. That is something else I'm working on. I'm trying to only buy balms now because balms tend to be more natural ingredients and just have like jojoba oil, coconut oil, um, and things like that. This one is the Chapstick Total Hydration in Soothing Vanilla. I honestly feel like this one made my lips more dry. Same with this one. This is the Blistex Deep Renewal. I need to break the addiction to chapstick. It is bad. Then I have another um, tester of Lancome, and this is the Lancome Advanced Genificu. I believe it's a serum for age-defying serum. And then I have this NYX Mineral Stick Foundation, completely empty. It was good. It was great. It's affordable. It's cheap. It's cruelty-free. It was great. And then I have this MAC that I'm going to do a back to MAC. I do know MAC is not cruelty free, but I am going to recycle all of the product. Basically, there was a highlighter on this side, and then there was a, um, a powder, a setting powder on the other side. Not a fan of the setting powder, but I was a fan of the highlighter, and I used all the highlighter up. And that is all my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like the topics of beauty and travel and beauty and travel together, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on a video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.